this is a box for a 1.6. Like for real? Totally cheated. It's not even a box, it's just a front cover. For a front cover of a box, it's quite heavy. Not to mention, it actually came pretty destroyed. Like, I had to take this back up, so no came destroyed, so that was fun. Hey, Takeho, Tajihao. Welcome back to Pink Collectibles, everyone. We got another piece on the review table, and this time it is by Figurama. This is Tokyo Ghoul's uh, Toka vs. Tsukiyama. You may or may not know I'm a sucker for stuff with wings, so her Kagune has this beautiful flared red wing with like freaking angel tips and shit, so that's really why I bought this and the overall composition. A lot of us who are getting this piece all got this on the same day. Three months since we paid the shipping invoice and for it to actually get here off the boat, um, it, it took a while. So not only that, I am a little bit nervous because several other people have posted their pictures and almost all of them have had damages come. Uh, my shipping box was ripped. It was, there's holes everywhere. Part of it was wet, like there was water damage. They put plastic caps on the, on the shipping box itself to protect it and that came pretty much flattened. This this is a very heavy cover for the box. Uh, very, very heavy, heavy cardboard. But the insides on like three of the four of these corners were ripped. So I had to just tape it back together just so I could keep the box in place. I'm hoping that I have no like zero or minimal breakages. Some people have had uh, completely not good and then some people have had just little pieces broken off so I'm hoping everything is fine. Hopefully the giant box in the packaging means we, we don't have anything to worry about. So with that, I'm Payne from Payne Collectibles. This is Figurama's Toka vs. Tsukiyama from Toku Ghoul. Let's get to it. Here we have the styrofoam and the pieces inside. My first criticism with Figurama right now is the outer box, the top and bottom layer, combine way more than the piece and the styrofoam contents inside. That then increased the shipping weight by a lot. And not only that, the dimensions of the box, an inch or two smaller and we would have clear the oversized shipping charges but instead they ended up making this box a little too big and the outer box is way too heavy and the shipping on this was way more than it needed to be that is a huge problem this is just a styrofoam and a strap because i couldn't lift the box up the stairs that's how bad it was and you're also given this envelope package that probably has some stuff in there nice nice seal over here this is a very cool art print that you get. And this showcases the parts and your assembly instructions, which I'm going to need to use this. All right, here we have the top layer. Let's look around. This piece for the base. I think they did a really good job with the translucent resin on the crystal effect. Paint's really well done. Here we have Toka's body. And overall, it's pretty good. Here are the keys for where her wings are. Her Kagune is going to go right here. This could have been handled better. This is flat one layer. There should be some gradation of skin uh, 
a friend of mine pointed it out. I didn't notice it, but he's right. This now looks like a chicken wing. Translu they, they did a really good job with a translucent resin key. Th these look really nice. And I'm happy with the paintwork on the rock and the translucent resin. This is one half of the Kagune. Stained glass effect. Eh. Again, translucent resin, very well done. Honestly though, if you're an anime studio and you can't do translucent resin, you really shouldn't be in business. Yeah, translucent resin, again very well done, nice part of the base. Resin shard piece, also very nice. Mm -hmm. Here is the rage portrait. I do like the paint on the portrait, especially on the eyes. They did a good job on the Tsukiyama portrait. I like it a lot. This is probably the one I'm going to be using. This is the Unmasked and... Well, the eyes could have been done better. It looks a little bit sloppy with the lines. It's kind of an interesting choice for it. Hoka, what? Sincerely, how hard is it to paint an eyeball? Okay, cool. Here's another tie piece. I'm not quite sure whose is it, but we'll find out. And a piece of flame. For as small as this thing is, it's well done. A little tiny candle. Also very well done. Here we have a second layer and this is where I'm a little bit concerned because people who have breakages were all from this layer. And I did have one small breakage in the Kagane, but could be worse. The translucent effects for the Kagane were well done. The other flame, part of the flame over here. This is not very good. Translucent effects, translucent resin, awesome. Regular resin and choice of weight and painting, not that great. But it's here in one piece. I'm very grateful for that because my friends came shattered. Here is Sukiyama's Kagune. You gotta be really careful when you're unwrapping and wrapping this thing. The paint's okay. Their display and prototype definitely looks better though. Paint on this is very well done. I mean, look at his shoes and the rest of his body. Yeah, this this part works. And you have the LED. So the second layer, those two big part pieces of the base, we're not gonna unbox. We're gonna do that in assembly. So let's get to it. All right, guys, time for some real talk. You're gonna see the tone and demeanor of this piece very quite differently as we're doing this review because I've shot this over a period of three days and my impression of this piece and a Figurama has changed quite a lot. I am not sponsored by Figurama or any manufacturer and I'm not monetized on YouTube. So the videos that you've seen me put out, those are videos of pieces that I as a collector and my passion have bought and I put out these videos so that other people can enjoy them. All right, so I am not sponsored. I'm not getting any income. Okay, in fact, all of this is costing me a crap ton of money. The point I'm trying to make is, guys, I am not here to sell to you. All right, guys? I am not here to sell to you. When something is awesome and great, you're gonna hear me be super positive and I'll lose an ass. But I'm not gonna lie to you. When something sucks, I'm gonna tell you when something sucks. Here we have 
the base with the inscription with some uh, this is engraved in carved in the vines and the thorns and the rose this rose is gorgeous and delicate be careful when you're taking it out of the box um, the other thing is it's actually really sharp so you want to be careful you don't cut your fingers I am critical about the paint the, the overall thing about this piece is that there are parts of it that's really good but there's also parts of it where it's just somebody didn't give a crap to put any effort into the paint and that's the part that bugs me we're doing this all over the guy is completely screwed up because they tell you to follow the numbers in order and guess what you cannot follow the numbers in order this big piece has to go on first and just sit flush because the guide wants you to do this piece first and you can't do that you have to put this piece first and if you don't do that so that you can take this piece and you can key in the candle which I lied there's no key for the candle The pictures make it look like there's a key for the candle somewhere here. There is literally no no place you can put this thing. And again, he shouldn't be wobbling. This really pisses me off. It was marked in a different number in the guide, which is why this has got to be the smallest key imaginable. You're going to have to blue tack this. There has to be a better way of engineering this piece or this piece didn't even need to be here. Be very careful with the Kagane piece for Tsukiyama. The way it came wrapped, you're never wrapping it back the same way. It's not gonna happen. When you go back to put it in the box to move or sell, you gotta be really careful. He shouldn't be wiggling and moving. Now I've got the blue tack that. The way to get this piece on, you have to very, very gently angle it until this connecting piece here to his shoulder keys in and then you pull to you pull like a rubber band to put in that wrist I don't know what material is made of but it's not polystone that allows you to do that but as a product I can see a lot of people breaking this on accident just because they don't know that portrait doesn't even fit at all wow that is bullshit all right, to get this portrait in, see the little, where the hair is? You have to hook the hair underneath the shirt in order to slide it in or it won't fit. Not only that, it is really, really loose. God, I hate this thing. This thing is scary as hell because it's actually pretty heavy and it needs to be a lot lighter for this piece. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Okay. The good news is the weight of this is supported with a steel peg round through this big piece. So that's good. Getting it to key into Toka? Oh my god, this is a nightmare of breakage just waiting to happen. Okay, I got it, but it is very dangerous. When you have to unpack it in the future to move it, you're gonna have to pull very super gently this off in order to get this piece off. My God, there's so many problems with this thing. Here we have the bus stand and then her alternate portrait. The cognate pieces. Here is Sukiyama's bus stand. It's not really gonna stay, you're gonna have to blue tack it for the long term. 
All right, guys, a quick post edit review here because look at that. That is supposed to be 1.6 for Toka. That's an XM 1.6. Look at the body sizes to CW Sasuke, Toka and Sukiyama, and look at Hex Naruto, and that's 1.8. These bodies look closer to 1.7 and 1.8 than they do an actual 1.6. What? the hell look don't buy it all right i'm just gonna come out and say it don't buy it and you know what if you don't agree with my review that's fine go watch someone else's channel uh, i'm sure there are other people out there who have given this thing like super long reviews there are so many points of that are just ripe for breakages okay there, i don't ever want to take this stupid wing out to move because i'm so afraid that it's it, it's just it's too much this connection to her body, too fragile. This whole extension thing for the Kagune, for Sukiyama, zero sense. Did not need to be done this way. This putting the leg through this weird opening, which makes it impossible to line up this foot, again, no. Oh, guess what? There is a magnet here that I didn't even know because it looks like a key. Again, really well done with the translucent resin. Love it as it goes from the Kagune into the translucent resin, absolute garbage. Just, this is sideshow quality, all right? You can't market yourself as a premium high-end company and you give subpar paint. No. Again, I'm not sponsored by them. I didn't get this for free to do a review. I bought this, so I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I wanna give them credit. The sculpt is ambitious, it is, when you step back and you look at this piece, it is a showstopper. It's got presence in spades. I give them props for ambition, for pulling off the sculpt. There are a lot of questionable engineering choices that were made that I definitely don't understand why. Uh, the paint is subpar at best. Uh, this whole base over here, this section, beautiful. The top of this, not so much. Why the hell does Tsukiyama move? what the hell are you thinking just this is fragile as hell ah look i'd be less critical of them if they were a company that can accept criticism which they are not they're never going to tell you the truth of yeah it looks great but guess what this is like my sasuke piece over there it sucks so i find it questionable at best so anyway guys I've gotten pretty heated about this piece, but this is one of those pieces that I'm now stuck with. The box didn't need to be as big as it was. It didn't need, the, the, the weight of the box is heavier than the weight of the piece with the styrofoam combined. How and why? I wish it was better, but it is what it is. And you win some, you lose some. But <laughs> toss a like, subscribe, call, tell me to go away. Hey, if you don't agree with anything I said in the comments, go ahead, let me have it. It's perfectly fine. This is my opinion and my gut reaction from when I put it together and I got really mad. You may have a different experience.